So now overnight showing the continuing work on Interstate 95 South. It's part of that ongoing Providence Viaduct project. Workers there are trying to make sure our drivers have a smooth commute this morning. I would assume reporter Todd Wallace joins us live in Providence with a look at what's happening right now. Thank you. Morning once again, Brian and Danielle. I would say that things so far have been pretty good, despite the fact that we had a couple of accidents this morning, one on 95 North and one on 95 South relative to last week. That isn't bad. I would say round one is officially or unofficially behind us. Round two, of course, will be tonight for this evening's rush hour traffic. We're here just over 95 South and North by exit 21 and exit 22. I will also uh, make mention to you that uh, RIDOT is very clear on what you want need to know regarding directions this morning. So if you're using exit 22 where we are, you will have to use one of the far right lanes. For those getting off on exit 21 at Wells Avenue, use the second lane from the right. Here's what it will look like from the driver's perspective. The signs above and of course and lane below will be marked showing you are headed toward exit 21. Now for those who want to stay on 95 South, you want to be in one of the other three lanes. Two of those go over the old bridge and one goes over the new bridge as you can see from the video. All three of those lanes will be marked with a large blue 95 sign either on the road itself or on the signs just above. We spoke with the RIDOT director Sunday and he says there are a couple of other things drivers can do to avoid any traffic problems this morning. Give yourself some extra time tomorrow morning. Stay in your lane. I can't say that enough. And um, if possible, take uh, 295 uh, if you're continuing through the state on 95 South. You can take 295 and bypass this whole area. We're back live and we're focusing specifically on exits 21 and 22. As you can see, just a ways beyond where the curve is. And it looks like, again, the traffic is flowing at a relatively smooth pace. This is all very good news. The number one message that Rideout really wants you to know is to stay in your lane. Don't try to, if you realize you're making a mistake by being in the wrong lane, slow down to try to get into the lane you're supposed to be in. Your best advice, according to Rideout, continue staying in your lane and then make whatever correction you need to. You may be a little late arriving to work or wherever your destination is, but at least you'll be arriving safely. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.